welcome to Girl X Beer Podcast, irregular beer reviews brought to you by Girl X Beer. We are in Warsaw, Poland, and this is episode 25. And today uh, we'll be reviewing two Swedish beers that uh, I got from uh, my friend Bookie. You've met her, sort of, her voice uh, on the show before. She brought them to me from her trip to Co. No, sorry, not Copenhagen, but uh, Stockholm, uh, I wanted to say. Uh, and there is something wrong with the beers. I will tell that at the end of the show, because it's not exactly the beers that I wanted. They are Swedish, which is great, but uh, there is a little twist to the beers. Okay, so let's start. The first beer uh, that is called Prips, uh, it's... Uh, made by a brewery uh, located in uh, Gothenburg uh, in Sweden and from what I've read it's uh, one of the most popular Swedish beers uh, so let's see uh, how it looks okay let's pour okay so I would say dark yellow color, uh, although it's a light lager, as also this one. And let me introduce to you the second beer called uh, Spendrups, uh, located in a city called Brygden or something like that, I don't uh, remember. And uh, from a brewery, uh, which is also, I mean, Spendrups is also a brand uh, name uh, and a brewery. Uh, quite a old one from 19th century, uh, created in 1897, this one was created in 1828, so a bit older beer here. Let's pull the other one and let's compare the two Swedish beers. Alright. So we have two totally different uh, colors. Let's see. Uh, this one is, uh, I would say, dark, pale dark light, and this one here, I would say, is a uh, dark orange color. Uh, maybe a bit pale towards the lower part of the, the glass. <coughs> Let's smell this one first. Wow, surprisingly or not, there is almost no smell whatsoever. Yep, no smell. How about this one? This one is a light moly smell with a certain gas layer that we've already encountered in several uh, beers. And as you can see, there is absolutely no hat in any of the beers. Okay, let's have a sip of the bricks. Wow, a beer is uh, an overstatement, I would say, because this is basically water. Yeah, step water even. You can barely feel that it's so carbonated. No, no hops. Fruits, a malt, it's water. It's an official Swedish water. See the second one. The sweeter water than this. both beers are just water-like. Maybe the reason for it is that they are kind of uh, low on alcohol. Latvul in Swedish meaning low alcohol is 2.2 and 2.1 I think this one percent. And Bookie made the same same mistake that I did in Israel. Uh, she didn't really read the label not knowing Swedish. I don't think that's hard as Hebrew but still Two and third beer in a row, which are low alcohol here on the Girl Likes Beer podcast. <coughs> Alright, for the rating, uh, it's one or two 
I think it's one night in the two worst beers I had on the show. Uh, not very good switch presentation, I must say, and uh, not what I was hoping for. My last episode in the in the season and in this part of Girl Like Beer uh, podcast, uh, I will be doing a short break for about a month uh, to do some rethinking about the reviews. Want to change them a little bit, a little bit, make them more uh, dynamic. So give me a, a little bit time, and I will come back to you. Starting with September for sure, maybe a bit earlier. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, of course, I'm gonna keep posting on the Girl X Beer uh, blog, so follow me on Twitter uh, to see all the latest updates. It's twitter.com slash girlxbeer. If you prefer Facebook, follow me there. Uh, I will post the link here, because unfortunately uh, I didn't get the vanity URL yet. Still hoping for that. Um, and uh, this will be everything for the today's show. As always, have a beer, save the economy, and see you soon. Cheers. Bye.